came in back with me. You're, You're watching, watching Friday TV. Yeah. All right, so why am I talking to you guys out here well, um, by Hotel Waverly? <laughs> well, you call this outside, so I mean, we could be inside, and it's getting a little nipply, it's getting a little windy. <laughs> it's getting nipply. It's getting nipply. But the well, exact place. There's no snow, so. The exact place yeah. between the Waverly and the. Silver Dollar. Dollar. Silver Dollar. I don't know, I found this. Tonight. Yeah, I guess we found this. There. We found this piece of ratty cardboard in the ground. It's a good spot, that's where it all comes down to. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a, it's like a little space to jam out to. It's a scenic background, I think. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of home. Yeah. <laughs> home. We're All right. far away, but close to home. Okay, we're gonna introduce you guys. You are. I'm Matt. I'm the drummer. Dan, I play uh, guitar. Aaron, I play the bass. I'm Robin. I play guitar and I sing. All right, good stuff. So, where are you guys from? Burbs. The burbs. Oh, get in here, boys. Oh, well, pack in. Pack in. Pack in. Exactly. Get a little. We're from multiple stuff. places. We're from multiple places. Burlington is mainly where we sleep the most. Sometimes we're from Hamilton. Yeah. Sometimes we're from here, Toronto. Uh, just bounce back. Mostly, forth. essentially located in Burlington, though. Main headquarters of Saint Man, I'd say. We like to keep it real. We don't like to. Uh, my parents live in Burlington. So. Okay. And I live with my parents. <laughs> yeah. that well, that explains why you guys are in a band. Seems how you guys live in Burlington. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah pretty boring there. Yeah. There's nothing to do, eh? <laughs> a lot of old people in subsidized housing. No, not so much. A lot of subsidized housing. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very little amount. A lot of condos. Actually. A lot of new condos. Yeah, kind of condo. a little bit. Condified. It's condified for sure. So, lo how long has the band been together? Uh, no, uh, three years now, I think. Three yeah. years is, the, I think that's what we should start officially saying now, it's is three long. years. It's kind of scary, yeah. Yeah. Three know, years. It's starting to feel should... like, I don't know, three years. So... <laughs> you heard it here first on Friday TV. We're breaking up. It's <laughs> over. Three years. Three years. <laughs> three years is two and a half years too long. Two and a half. So too this long. is our, uh, our farewell show tonight in the Silver Dollar Room. Okay, <laughs> we should we should we should yeah. break this. We're not. We are we are we continuing to be a band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they, they they can tell the sarcasm. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. They can hear the sarcasm. Yeah. Let's just not. We we we, we kind of we, we we like started playing like I guess about probably three years ago yeah. maybe first show. We we did a bit of like you know touch and go jamming in the basement, but we started. Playing from the epicenter that is like Eldershot and spread out to like, you know, Burlington, to the Hamiltons, the Toronto, the GTA, and uh, I think further. That's where we're at now. Mm -hmm. Three years, that's where it takes you. <laughs> What's your goal? Why did you guys start the band other than just to get to the board? between the Hotel Waverly and the Silver Dollar? That's, what <laughs> we made it. that's why. That's why we're ending. We're not. That's why we're mission accomplished. That's right? why you're ending on a high point. note. Hot Costanza. band. Hot band. Hot band. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. What is our goal? I don't know. We just love music. We love to play music. We love to watch music. We like to uh, party while there's music on in the background. Yeah, it's good. Well, we all work like regular jobs, and we've realized that's not nearly as fun as doing this. So we here. <laughs> We hear you can make some money doing this, so we're we're, we're after we're chasing I mean, after that. If you thought. stand out from the pack, because you guys stand out from the pack. This guy with his orange pants stands out from the pack. You can't really see pants. the orange this pants. Is, this is on. the money maker right here. We were uh, okay. There we go. We were, no, uh, not this is not bad. <laughs> this is, this is, this we were in Bradford <laughs> recently, and this guy received uh, quite a bit of <laughs> criticism from the lo from the locals. No, it wasn't even that. For <laughs> the truck drivers, yeah. The truck <laughs> making it seem much worse. Than <laughs> they were brandishing, so brandishing. <laughs> No, no, Bradford's but Bradford's a beautiful, place. beautiful, beautiful place, Bradford. Uh, they and the place we play great food. So they treat their bands very well. They treat their bands very well. You're well. okay. treating premium, I would say. I treat them premium. They premium. <laughs> Go through that premium fast. <laughs> what are your influences? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, a lot of uh, influence rooted in like '60s rock and roll. A lot of influence rooted in contemporary, I guess you'd say, sort of garage or indie or 
be in pubs and clubs. Pretty much the same thing. Most people are influenced by. We kind of gap. We don't we, we don't stand out from the crowd in that sense at all. That's for sure. <laughs> I said there's kind of a gap though. You kind of like when you just like wedge out some of like that mid between you know like 75 maybe like no, 90s period. That's still that's influence. still that's still. Uh, still I don't know, Finn Lizzy's sure. pretty influential. Finn Lizzy's <laughs> yeah, that's Lizzy's true. pretty huge. It's true. I listened to Led Zeppelin when I was in grade nine, so I mean that influenced me. That's, that's his influence. Right <laughs> yeah. <It's a> time. <laughs> My influence is uh, I don't know. I'll see what All right, there we go. So, do you guys have a record out? Can we people do. buy it? Sure it's do. Called, record plug. It's called Everybody See This. Everybody see so everybody, this. We see it because because you know we can't there. make it and we need you to. It's out on no label, which is not the name of a label. It's just it's out on no label. Yeah, it's you all, guys are all still all unsigned. Our, yeah. unsigned. I guess unsigned. We're free. <laughs> we're not waiting for David. someone to pick us up, like off yeah. the side of the street, and say, "Listen, guys, we're going to sign you right now." Yeah, just, we're here. It might, it might happen. We will sign the worst record contract in history just to get signed. <laughs> you, we're we're saying would you guys sell out? Would you like? You could fuck oh, whoa! Right. Sorry, good would question. you sell out? Yeah. I will, you I would sell, sell 100%. If they're Matt like, Mike, okay, be a boy band. Sell. They're like, be yeah, a boy yeah, band, know, start it. dancing. Oh yeah, I will, I'll sell my, uh, like any song <laughs> I create to Apple. I can't speak to these guys, but I will sell anything. Matt anyone. will sell it anything he wants. No, but and if, I'll decide what the It's all, all, it's all for sale. All <laughs> if the label's like, you guys are going to be the all new day, boy man, band no. now, and you have to learn how to dance and stuff, would you do it? Well, you saw Matt knows how to dance. Yeah, so yeah, 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 we're already halfway there, I think. Take less than that. <laughs> so, yeah, he teaches us. Sure, that's, that's what we're going to do when this interview's over. We're going to go over the dance choreography on stage, and we're going to kick it out. So. <laughs> Matt is, Matt's very lively tonight, everyone. We're seeing, we're seeing a good version of Matt. I'd actually like to change my influence to so just like a bad all the time. <laughs> no, yeah, so. There's a bad version of Matt, let me tell you. Yeah. Anything you guys want to pimp out last? Less. Shirts? We got shirts. We gotta pimp those out because there's way too many of them. We're having a bad run and grab shirt. Not run and grab shirt. <laughs> but we have them and they look good. You should check them out on the website. We a good a good friend of ours did design some 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 beautiful <laughs> artwork that we then put on some t-shirts. I'm looking at you, the camera. I don't know what to do. But uh, <laughs> whichever floats. Yeah. So I mean, if you're if you're into if you're into good art on t-shirts, <laughs> then buy them shirts. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the pimp, I guess. Uh, We're done pimping me, it's night time. I'll also take this opportunity to pimp out Dan's younger brother. He's single and uh... He's, <laughs> okay, he's that's not the kind of pimping. This is not Jerry Springer. Know, it's, it's, you know, not funny. He's a guy who's smart. He's so. <laughs> really smart. Yeah. But like, good smart. I'll, I'll need a cut out of it though, so Ben, if you ever make any money out of this. I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, what's your MySpace and your website? Uh, MySpace.com slash the band name, Sandman by the way. And then www.sandmanviperman.com. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.